Hello there everyone, Farvain here, and today I'll be showing you the basics of a mod called Thorncraft. It's basically magic for Minecraft, and personally my favourite mod in all of Minecraft. Um, I'll show you everything you need to craft so you can start off, and then I'll be doing in-depth guides later on on things you can research and what you can do with them. So let's get started. First thing every magician needs is a wand. So I've already got one here, but I'll show you how to craft it. You need a shard of any colour, a stick and a gold nugget. This creates your Wand of the Apprentice. From there you'll need these tables. You'll need three of them, but I've already got two. So that's how you craft them. If the server would stop lagging. There are stick slabs there. Okay, so you get three tables. Place them down next to each other. You'll take your wand that you just made and play it, right click it on this table. This will make it a magical crafting table. Um, don't worry, you can get your wand back if you just take it out, takes the wand off the table, um, but I have two and I recommend you make two as well so you can keep one on you for magic and one to craft. The next thing you're going to need to make is your scribing tools. You get a glass bottle, ink sack, and a feather. You fit your scribing tools, if you right click those on these two tables together it'll make it one table and make it your research table. Now for the sake of this video I'll show you something you can research. So every everything you research is going to need paper in this bottom right corner. So nothing will happen unless you have something to research on basically. Um, everything that every item in this game has an element or unless it's one of the newer mod pack items and you'll need these elements from all the different items to be able to research something, some new kind of spell. So at the moment I can see that what I've put in has some relevance to it. Sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it doesn't. As you click research it'll slowly start to use your item and your research of it is now, okay, so it's 100% now. Um, at the moment I already know what I'm making. Uh, sometimes you won't unless you're using a guide. I'll be making gaseous glowstone for this. So it takes potentia, lux, and it also takes aura, which is there. Okay, so this finishes, and this goes from that kind of scroll to when it hits 100%, this kind of scroll. Okay, so what you can do is you take it off, you put it in your inventory, and it says researching the intricacies of the light is paying off. You're close to finding a way to make completely invisible light. So if you right click this, you now have a spell but you can't cast the spell and you also don't know how to craft this spell. So what you need to do is you take your wand and if you have a bookcase, uh, it's very simple to make, right click it and this will make your Thormanomonomicon. That's not the real name but I don't really care. And the last thing that you'll need as a crafting basic is your cauldron. Get seven iron ingots, place them around like that. Voila, cauldron. Okay, so now feeling like a witch yet. Before you can do anything else, you need to take this cauldron, get your wand out, and right click it. That will turn it into a cauldron like this. You'll need to throw some water in it, and then eventually that'll start boiling. It's very important that you right click it, otherwise you're just going to be standing there like an idiot. Okay, um, let me explain a few things to you before so you don't start crafting magic and getting yourself killed. Um, in this game, there, or in this mod I guess, there are aura nodes and they are spawned by silverwood trees like this one. Silverwood saplings are very rare to get from the silverwood trees, sometimes you can get none, sometimes you can get four. Um, uh, basically right at the center of this tree in this block here there'll be an aura node, it'll be a very very tiny one, but as you cut down the tree get more saplings and place the, the more saplings over the top of this, the aura node will get bigger and bigger. Provided it's the closest aura node to this cauldron, um, you'll be it'll be drawing magic or viz from there and into this cauldron when you cast your magic. If you have any spillover in your spells, so for example in this one I'll be creating Nitor. Nitor takes Ignis, Potentia and Lux, so it'll take six torches and two coal because coal has Ignis and Potentia, but coal also has, if you look at it, the rock, so <laughs> the rock, it's not called the rock, but I'll call it the rock. Um, and there'll be a spillover of two of them because I'll be using two coal. 
this will create a slight bit of um, flux in the air. It won't really be noticeable at all, especially not on this scale. But if you create hundreds of these, then you're most likely going to overload your aura node, especially if it's just a small one, and um, fill it with flux. This will corrupt the aura node and it'll make wisps in the air. These wisps are a pain in the ass when you're um, just beginning the game like we are, so I'm not going to create any wisps. But later on when you become practically invincible, they're not really a problem. So quickly I'll just create, show you how to actually make some night ore. So you'll take two coal, and then six torches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just get your wand, and you right click it, and then inside there is your night ore. You can get some water and fill it back up. Yep, and that'll start to bubble again. And basically now you have your night ore. So this is the very, very, very most basic thing you can make in magic. And it's a different so uh, different light source. It comes from just researching uh, Lux and the coal again, the same way that you use to craft it. And we'll be doing a more in-depth guide on the different things you can use in Thorncraft, because as you can see, there are just a lot of things you can do with this that some of them are absolutely amazing, for example, these golems, but we'll get into them in a different video. This is what we just learned, and you can see why I didn't craft it, because we've just started this and I don't have any glowstone. Alrighty, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and you learned a bit, and like, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.